So here's another little talk. It's called Lies About Michelson Wally Experiment and Light Speed Constancy. So experts on relativity contradict themselves. Some experts will be saying that the uh, Michelson Morley experiment shows light speed constancy and other experts will be saying it doesn't. Uh, contradiction is then basically lying, saying one thing one moment and saying the opposite another moment. Einstein's relativity is so built upon these contradictory statements from relativity experts. Uh, so these relativists, that's the people who believe in relativity, uh, can't believe the same theory when they claim to believe Einstein's relativity because they believe different things about experimental results. So let's start from Wikipedia. Special relativity is explained to be based upon two postulates. And it's the second postulate concerned with where it said that the speed of light and vacuum is the same for all observers, regardless of the motion of light source or observer. And what I understand is that's supposed to be in the context when there's no fields of force such as no gravitational force the, at the speed of light in vacuum is then supposed to be constant. Uh, these postulates however are vague but anyway uh, working with what we are given. If we go to this paper by uh, John Norton he's uh, in the Department of History and Philosophy of Science. Uh, he's an expert on Einstein relativity in that. He's, his paper is called Einstein's Investigation of Galilean Covariant Electrodynamics prior to 1905. And what he says in the paper is even today this point needs emphasis the Michelson Morley experiment is fully compatible with an emission theory of light that contradicts the light postulate. So he's pointing out that the Michelson Morley experiment uh, uh, doesn't have to be interpreted from the belief in light speed constancy. So now we'll be giving examples of relativity experts contradicting that. So from this source, Berkeley Science Books, it says the conclusion of the Michelson Morley experiment was that the speed of light was constant, C, in any inertial frame. So it's stating the Michelson Morley experiment gives light speed constancy. And if we go to this book we got from Stephen Hawking, he's another associate expert on relativity. He says in that book, the special theory of relativity was very successful in explaining that the speed of light appears the same to all observers as shown by the michelson morley experiment. So once again, he, he's an expert on relativity claiming that light speed constancy is shown by the Michelson Morley experiment. Going to this book by Brian Cox and Jeff Forshaw, it says Maxwell's brilliant synthesis of the experimental results of Faraday and others strongly suggested that the speed of light should be the same for all observers. This conclusion was supported by the experimental result of Michelson and Morley and taken at face value by Einstein. So once again, it's saying the Michelson and Morley experiment gives uh, the speed of light as constant. There are other examples of relatively literature saying Michelson and Morley experiment shows light speed constancy. 
However, let's go back to Norton, who says otherwise. And this is what John Norton says. In addition to his work as editor of the Einstein papers in finding source material, Satchel uh, assembled the many small clues that reveals uh, reveal Einstein's serious consideration of an emission theory of light. And he gave us the crucial insight that Einstein regarded the Michelson-Morley experiment as evidence for the principle of relativity, whereas later writers almost universally use it as support for the light postulate of special relativity. Even today, this point needs emphasis. The Michelson-Morley experiment is fully compatible with an emission theory of light that contradicts the light postulate. So these later writers such as Hawking who are interpreting the Michelson-Morley experiment as light speed constancy are going against what Einstein was originally saying. Einstein wasn't thinking that, he was thinking that the Michelson-Morley experiment showed the principle of relativity and not light speed constancy. The many people who say Michelson-Morley experiment shows light speed constancy are saying things wrong. They should be saying that the Michelson-Morley experiment is being interpreted from a belief in a theory with light speed constancy, but can be interpreted by other theories. While Einstein himself was only saying Michelson-Morley experiment shows relativity principle and not the light speed postulate. So there's an issue of underdetermination where an experiment can be interpreted by different theories. Physicists such as Hawking and the others uh, say that the Michelson-Morley experiment shows constancy of light speed and they use words, words like confirms light speed constancy, proves light speed constancy or whatever. Uh, they seem to miss slash ignore the issue under determination and don't point out that the experiments can be interpreted by different theories. I, when they talk about theory in experiment, they don't talk about it in the correct way. So when they, when it comes to them lying, really it's them talking about things incorrectly. Thank you. That's the end of this little talk explaining how physicists seem to be lying because they're not talking about experiment and theory correctly. Thank you. The end.